how this video we continue to read the book the cash flow quadrant by robert kiyosaki the one who wrote this famous rich dad poor dad and in this one he's saying that change may actually mean opportunity and uh, this is video number 86 please join me hello welcome to take a step to a better you if you are returning, I appreciate you very much. You know what to do, support this message, I'm assuming. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sherpa Nakalema, business owner here in Virginia, USA. Very passionate about what I do here. Uh, let me show you. I'm here Monday doing YouTube tips, Tuesday, Wednesday, money tips, business tips. On Thursday, I like I call it my free day. I drive around, I talk to people. It's fun day. Then Friday is another fun day. I come live, we discuss anything to, to help us take our step. My message here is take a step to make your life better. Anything I say, anything I do is for that reason. So Friday, we are live. Saturday, live again. But this time I'm talking money, earning money online, affiliate marketing tips. Sunday, motivation, to give you some energy. So Monday, you start fresh. That's my, my schedule. But uh, the time, Monday to Saturday is 9.30 a.m. USA Eastern Time. So you can Google if you to get your equivalent. I know many people watch me from different countries. So when you go to Google and put USA Eastern Time, whatever time you put, like 9.30, it will give you the equivalent of your time. Uh, but on Sunday, I come later. I come at 1.30 p.m. The other one is 9.30 a.m. This one is 1.30 p.m. on Sunday. USA Eastern Time. And for most of you who watch me, these times are much later. I'm behind. Okay, now we'll finish with that, the schedule. The next thing I want to show you is the quadrant. Because this book is called the Cash Flow Quadrant because of the quadrant. And the quadrant, let's show the image, is, it says, this is about how money comes into your life. How you make the money, right? The, on the left, the E stands for E, employee. You get your money as an employee. OS, self-employed person or small business owner. On the right, large business, or uh, B for large business, and I for investor. So E, employee, S, small business owner, self-employed, uh, B, large business owner, and I, investor. So you could mix them up, but that's what, and the goal, why Robert wrote this book, to show us the problems on the left. Our goal is to get to the right. That's why we're reading it and we love it. So now, video number 86 is about his, you know, he mentioned the few topics, but I pick out what I think is more important in that section which I'm reading. And to say today, I'm picking out the point of, like change may actually mean opportunity if you are really alert. So that's the main message I picked from this one today, although he's talking about many things. But if I start reading, Audio book, you can get it free. Amazon Audible, link in the description. But you have to search. When you go to the catalog, you have to search for the book. So you put cash flow quadrant. Or this one, which that what that. And the physical book itself, a different link takes you to the physical book. That one you have to buy. The other one is free for one month. And then if you want to watch all the videos, remember, this is 86. If you want to start from number one, I put a link in both in the description and also uh in the pinned comment i pin a comment on top it takes you to all of them starting from number one you can skip once you get to that list all the videos are there you can say i don't want to watch you skip to another one it's all up to you okay reading number 86 okay the way he starts it he says history is a guide you know keep putting small small like new 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 subheadings this is where he starts we'll come to the other one History is a guide. Robert is writing. My rich dad encouraged me to learn the game well. I mean, the game of this quadrant stuff we're talking about. After I learned it well, I could do what I wanted with what I knew. I write and teach out of concern that more people need to know how to take care of themselves financially and not become dependent upon the government or a company for life support. My message right there. Let me read it again. For those who come on Friday, listen to this. Because this is where my passion is. 
he says, I write and teach out of concern that more people need to know how to take care of themselves financially and not become dependent upon the government or a company for life support. I hope I'm wrong about what I see coming down the road economically. Maybe governments can keep making promises, take uh, care of people, keeping on raising taxes and keep on going into greater debt. Maybe the stock market will always go up and never come down again. And maybe real estate prices will go up again and your home will become your best investment. And maybe millions of people will find happiness earning a minimum wage and be able to provide a good life for their family. Maybe this can all happen, but I don't think so. No, not if history is in a guy. So he says, and, and I think I agree, all those things are not going to happen. So historically, if people live to be 75 years of age, they live through two recessions and one depression. Please note, those who like to follow this book seriously, historically, I'm reading again. If people live to be 75 years of age, they live through two recessions and one depression. As baby boomers, we have gone through three recessions and some question, some question whether we are entering another depression. Maybe there will never be one, but history says there will be. Uh, there will be. As the saying goes, if your neighbor loses his job, it's a recession. If you lose your job, it's a depression. I'll read that again. If your neighbor loses his job, it's a recession. If you lose your job, it's a depression. The reason my rich dad had me read books on the great capitalist and economist was so I could gain a longer view and a better perspective on where we have come from and where we are going. Just as the waves on the ocean, there are great waves in markets. Instead of the wind and sun driving the waves of the ocean, the waves of the financial markets are driven by two human emotions, greed and fear. I don't think that depressions are things of the past because we'll always have those emotions of greed and fear. And when greed and fear collide and a person loses badly, the next human emotion is depression. Depression is made up of anger and sadness. Anger with oneself and sadness over the loss. Emotion, uh, no, sorry. Economic depressions are emotional depressions. People lose and they get depressed. That was powerful. That whole paragraph was so powerful. We'll discuss it on Friday. Okay. Even when the economy appears to be in great shape, there are millions of people who are in various stages of depression. They may leave a job, but deep down they know they are not getting ahead financially. They are angry at themselves and sad over their loss of time. Little do they know that they have been trapped by the industrial age idea of find a safe, secure job and don't worry about the future. Now, this is where I got my heading today, my, the way I titled the video. It says, a great change means opportunity. We are entering, that was the subtitle, we are entering an era of tremendous, tremendous change and opportunity. For some people, it will be the best of times. For others, it will be the worst of times. As President John F. Kennedy, as President John Kennedy said, once said, a great change is at hand. Kennedy came from the right side of the cash flow quadrant. Back in the 1960s, he tried desperately to elevate the lives of those stuck in a time warp. He, unfortunately, decades later, millions of people are still trapped in those time warps, following ideas that were handed down from past generations. Ideas such as 
go to school so you can find a secure job. While education is more important than ever before, we need to be reaching pe teaching people to think a little further than just looking for a secure job and expecting the company or the government to look after them once their working days are, are through. That is an industrial age idea and we are not there anymore. So two paragraphs left. Nobody said it was fair for this is not fair. Uh, for this is not a fair country. We are a free country. Now he's talking about USA. There are people who work harder, are smarter, are more driven for success, are more talented, or are more de desirous of the good life that, uh, than others. In America, we are thankfully free to pursue those ambitious ambitions if we have the determination. Yet, Every time somebody does better than we do, some people say it's unfair. The same people who think it would be more fair if the rich shared with the poor. Well, nobody said it was fair. And the more we try to make things fair, the less free we become. The last paragraph. When someone says to me that there is, there is discrimination or a glass ceiling, I agree with them. I know much i know such things exist i personally detest any kind of discrimination and being of japanese ancestry i've experienced it firsthand in the e and s code run discrimination does does exist especially in companies your looks your education your skin color your gender all count on the left side but they don't count on the right side where fairness and security don't matter. It's all about freedom and the love of the game. If you want to play the game on the right side, the players will welcome you. If you play and win, fine. They'll embrace you even more and ask you for your secrets. If you play and lose, they'll gladly take all your money. But don't complain. Or blame someone else for your failures. That's not the way the game is played on the right side. It's not meant to be fair. Being fair is not the name of the game. That's the end of 86. I hope that title was relevant. A great change means opportunity. I think it's hidden in there. Like how things change when you have the knowledge, when you are ready, prepared, you, you get ahead. I mean, you get ahead, you, you, you see things, but have have the knowledge. Now, my takeaway is on that part when he said that on the right side, that if you play to win, then discrimination and all that things happen on the left side because you're an employee and all that stuff that goes on. But said on the right side, if you play to win, they will embrace you. <laughs> but then if you lose, they take all your money. But my point, uh, seriously now, what... Uh, that, that play to win actually means you, you have the knowledge. Recently on my uh, live, YouTube live, we're discussing 10,000 hours. Those of you who are in the discussion, that it takes 10,000 hours to master something. My, uh, my, what I would say to you and to myself is to find something you're passionate about like, that could take you to the right side and please focus on it and master it. Robert mastered real estate. So you can master whatever you choose to master. If you want to master the internet right now, and you become so, like because of the 10,000 hours, you don't need 10,000 hours to master the things. You pick an area and you master it. Once you become a master, a master of that, now the opportunity is endless. Because what they're doing now, you can have a YouTube channel and sharing what you know of that thing you mastered. After that, you start creating courses, like short course, a short course, a freebie, the one they give for download, give them tip tips. Then you start coaching, you can coach, you can write a book, you can you can create so many things. You can create uh, a, a, a short course, like a downloadable one for pay, like they pay $50, $47, $7. It's up to you. But the sky is the limit once you master something. That's my message. Master something, put in the hours, not necessarily 10,000, 
if you focus on just one area, you're going to be an expert and you can create a long-term asset for yourself. Because if it's a course downloadable, they'll download forever. You can go in and update it as things go, change. You go in and update it, but you'll still be an expert in that area. What is it for you? What do you want to master that will take you out of the rat race? I'm trying to master something. I'm actually working on mastering a few things. Okay? Not the 10,000 hours are not in there yet, but I'm working on that because I'm really, I really don't want to be very old and depending on people and begging. That's, that's my wish for you too. Leave a comment for me. What do you think? Uh, like the video, share it. If you want an audio book, go in the description, physical book. Also, if you want to watch all the rest of them from number one or previously, what it means, the link in the pinned comment. And I think it also comes up here on the end screen. Like I always end them, I say take very good care of yourself, take very good care of your families, take very good care of your health, take a step to better you. Add a comment, please, before you leave. Bye-bye.